So hi everyone. Today we will learn how you can use Flux Point to End Dev Model in the free tier of Google Colab. So recently, Hugging Face has released a new version of Transformers, Diffusers, and Bits and Bytes. Hence, now you can load a quantized version of Flux Point to End Dev in Google Colab itself. So to get started, if you don't know, Flux is one of the best text to image generator models by Black Forest Labs, as you can see on the screen, and it is. It has been a trending model since it has been launched. So to run Flux Point One Dev in your free tier Google Colab or in any 8 GB GPU system, we first need to get the access for the model from Hugging Face official page. As you can see, here you need to click on the gated. So as you can see that this is a gated model. So you need to have a permission from the Black Forest Lab. So it is a small form that you need to fill. I have already been granted access for this. so that's the best part once done you need to generate a read token so you need to go to access tokens here as you can see and then create a new token and then go to read and create give it any random name as you can see and just create token so with this with you will get a hugging face api key for yourself now let's jump on to the codes how to run it now as you can see that this is the notebook that we would be using to run flux dev so first of all as you need to see you need to pip install the upgraded version of diffusers transformers and bits and bytes that you need to follow using the git repo link given here so once you have uh, installed the upgraded version of diffusers transformers and bits and bytes you can check whether your gpu memory is connected in collab or not so here you can see that i have connected to t4 gpu as you can see once done you need to import diffusers transformers bits and bytes and here you can see that you this is a very important step you need to provide your hugging face token that we have generated in the previous step so as i already told you it is a gated repo without this api token it won't work here we are defining a function for flush so basically it's a makeshift solution that we are doing because what happens in a text to image model basically there are multiple components which first converts the text into embedding and then the embedding is passed to a model to generate the images for ourselves now what to save on memory there would be multiple things the team has done one is quantization other is flushing the memory as and when it is required so once the text embedding is generated then and there the memory is flushed and the model is deleted the pipeline is deleted so this way you are not loading the entire text embedding as well as the Im uh, image generator you are just loading the image generator in that so flush would be help us in that so here you are seeing that we are loading the 4 bit quantized version flux point one dev and this is the prompt that i would be using a boy driving a car on ocean so first of all we would be loading the text encoder for 4 bit model so t5 encoder model from pretrain and this is the url you need to provide the path and then we are creating a pipeline for text embedding first and then enable model cpu offload so once some memory is required it can take from cpu as well now here you can see that we are encoding the prompt using this pipeline and then deleting the pipeline and flushing hence the memory is freed up instantly next the next part is simple using the flux transformer 2d model again using the same path that we have set up early for the 4 bit flux dev model we are loading it into transformer 4 bit and then creating a flux pipeline where we are not providing a text encoder tokenizer we are providing nothing because that part we have already done and deleted that part so basically somewhat we are doing the segmentation modulation of the entire model so that we don't load everything at once which was the case and hence uh, flux dev was not being able to get loaded in memory now just the image creation part using the embedding is getting loaded this pipeline gets enabled here you can see that we are doing a float 16 also that is half bit precision to save on memory the model gets loaded the model is now not that big i think 6 gb is what i remember and then we need to run this particular code we are providing the height and width of the image you wish to generate prompt embeds is important because you are now providing just the embedding part and not the entire prompt directly height and width is provided and output type is pill that is pill image 
Once done, here you can see that now Flux Drive is running on your free tier Google Colab. And here you can see that the memory is also not crashing. This is a great way because this is one of the best image to text to image generators. And now this model is available to everyone to run. So I think that's the best part. I would suggest you to try out the model and let me know how you feel about it. What are the different utilities you can think of Flex Dev now as it is available to everyone. Thank you so much.